Welcome back to another Hammer Media technical breakdown video. This time we're on location in Greece, the birthplace of the javelin throw and the discus throw. And once again, we're going to talk about neither of those, but go back to my favorite event, the hammer throw. In our last video, we talked about one of the most common technical errors in the hammer throw, and that's coming up with the hammer and not being able to stay low. Staying low is really essential to properly accelerating the hammer. And today we're going to talk about another thing that's really essential to accelerating the hammer, and that's keeping both feet on the ground and having a really long double support phase. Now, when I talk about double support, as I said, it's having both feet on the ground, and what's even more important is having both feet on the ground early when you land so that you can prolong the amount of time that you get the foot down until the hammer is at its low point. Once the hammer reaches its low point, you start fighting gravity and it becomes harder to accelerate the hammer. So, and the key in the hammer throw is trying to get this right foot down as early as possible so that you have as much time from here to here to accelerate the hammer. You might think, okay, if I want to get the right foot down early, what do I do? I have to be right active with that right foot. I have to be really moving the foot quickly. This in some cases can work, but most of the cases it actually makes the problem worse. When you're active with that right foot and really trying to move it a lot, you do two things. You push up, which raises your whole body up, and as I talked about in the last video, there's a lot of problems with that error. And saying the more active you are, the higher the foot comes, and that means the more work it is to get down. So it's not as easy as it looks. It's not just moving faster that gets it there faster. Um, there are two ideas, which I use quite a bit, um, that, are, that can be quite effective in working on it. The first one is staying low, and this goes back to the last video. Being low in the hammer throw has so many advantages, and again, it comes back to here, um, it helps you land sooner. So if you think about, instead of being active with the right foot, if you think about sitting down, if you come down with it, bending the left leg and coming down as you land, this will help you get down sooner because then you have gravity helping you. You have your whole body weight's force coming down. Instead of trying to extend the right foot to the ground, you're bringing your whole body down to it, and this can be a lot faster. And, and ways you can work on that, check out the last video, and it goes into a lot of tips about how you can accomplish that. The second way you can work on it starts early. It starts before you even have the single support phase. You might think that the earlier you pick up the right foot, the earlier you can land. But it's actually the opposite is the case. The earlier you pick up the right foot, the later it's going to land. Why is that? Well, a couple of things happen. When you pick up the right foot early, some of your weight's still on the right side. And so that shifts your axis back this way and throws off your orbit in subsequent turns, which causes a lot of other problems. And the second reason that's a problem is, as I said, because the weight's here, your right leg's also acting as a support. And you take away the support, the system's going to crash. And what happens is, you end up being over the right side, you pick up the right leg, you not only land late, but you land, as I said, with the axis off, and has more and more problems in the different turns. And so what do you do? Um, a lot of people talk about pushing to 180. Stuart Toger, Lance Deal's coach, talks about that a lot. Working to 180, trying to keep your right foot on the ground until the hammer is all the way around. And Bonner Chuck says the same thing. He says, push the hammer until it pulls you off the ground. Don't think about taking the hammer, the foot off the ground. Think about turning and the hammer will come off on its own. And this also has another added benefit in that you're not doing the work the whole time. In Kibwe's, po uh, po in Kibwe's post about the push point, he said, you need to push the hammer until the point where the hammer takes over. It's like a, a tag team wrestling match. You do the work here and once you get to the right position, then the hammer takes over and it does the work. If you're trying to take off early, that means you have to do the work the whole time. But if you push it to the right point, that the hammer starts pulling you along, pulling your right foot along, you're going to be able to land earlier, land better, and have a much longer double support phase. So those are a few tips to try. Give them a shot, see if they work. And then the next step is getting this position and getting the most out of it, using it and accelerating the hammer as much as you can. But that's a topic for another time, so we'll come back to that next month.